Hello guys, welcome back to our accounts receivable individual transaction processing series. So in this video, I will demonstrate the process of uh, posting customer receipts basically, uh, receiving the payments from customers here. So before we start directly uh, uh, to the processing of customer receipts, first we will check customer line items that are open for uh, postings. So as to check the customer line items, we have to execute P code fdl file okay enter customer code then enter company code then either you can click on the open items or you can click on the all items here then click on normal items then click on execute yeah you see here there is one customer invoice is open here for which receipt are not yet posted now so as to post the receipt or so as to post the customer payments here click on uh, new window basically execute transaction code at dash 28 now fill the details of this basically this is header details of the accounting document this is bank data and third is open item selection so basically open item selection nothing but customer details here we have to fill it now enter the document date then posting date you see here document type dz is uh, selected here or basically the populated by automatically by the system here so dz is nothing but the customer payments or we can say the customer receipts so just enter the reference okay. customer receipt you can enter document header text clearing text then we have to enter account so basically this is bank related data so we have to enter bank receipt account here enter amount that we have to receive from customer and enter value date then enter text then here we have to enter customer account okay now click on process open items yeah you see here there is one line item which is open for posting so yeah the line item is already selected if it is not selected then that, just double click on the line item you can select deselect by double clicking on the line item or you can use these uh, buttons here okay now you can see there is no difference posting here or uh, it's not assigned is zero here now click on document overview okay then click on document simulate yeah now you see here bank account is debited and customer account is credited here bank account is debited because we have received money from customer here now click on post button now you see click on display document okay now the accounting entry is posted here now you can check the header data of the accounting by clicking on here on the document header if you see here document type dz is nothing but for the customer payment and the remaining details you can see here in background <coughs> system use transaction code fdz1 here okay now let us check the customer ledger or the customer line items here now click on list and then click on refresh okay now now you see here there are no open items selected here because now this item is not open anymore because we have received payment from customer or the receipt from customer so now it's not open just click on ok button or the continue now you have to click on cleared items so basically this is cleared item now for which we have received payment then click on execute yeah now you see here this document is basically the payment document is posted here this dr is nothing but customer invoice and dz nothing but the customer payment here okay so this is how basically we post customer payment or the customer collection or the customer receipt in sap system i hope you like this video yeah and thanks for watching